Deep in the Sierra Nevadas, two hardened outdoorsmen will go head to head in the first ever Seer Challenge. Each contestant must endure every component of survival, evasion, resistance, and escape, followed by 24 hours to reach a designated extraction point. Send in the hunter! He's escaped! Get up! Brent. U.S. Marine Infantry and Stealth and Camouflage Expert. Jared, Navy Veteran and Tactical Shooting Instructor. You're not gonna make it! The Hunter will be fully supported by an entire scouting team and will have every resource available to hunt down and capture the survivor. So he's got 23 hours now to get up to his endpoint. This time he has very limited support from HQ. So it's all up to him to figure out how he wants to navigate this terrain, get up to the endpoint, and deal with this environment. It's man versus nature versus man in the Grunt Proof Seer Challenge. Alpha Coffee, a truly American and veteran-owned coffee company. They sent out plenty of the freedom juice to keep us fueled during the event, and we even had enough to send the contestants home with some. Fuel for Warriors, Alpha Coffee. Go check them out. your intention he's gone cobra main he's escaped release the hunter he's escaped he's escaped Without even knowing where he began, Brent now has 24 hours to evade a well-equipped and motivated hunting team, which is controlled by Jared. From his escape point to his extraction point, there's just above a 950 foot elevation gain. However, that's just if you were traveling in a straight line. Given the extreme terrain plus the added element of evasion, Brent will most likely climb a few thousand feet today. I'm gonna go get some Brent. You said you're coming for me. I'm coming for you, dude. You're gonna freeze. Right that way.
There's not a lot of time for Brent to screw around. Just 10 minutes after Brent's escape, Jared is dropped off right at the camp and pointed in the very direction Brent took off in. So if he just ducked into the wood line right next to the camp, he might be in trouble. Man, this shit is thick. This is Survivor, send it. Roger, everything good? Yeah, we're good. I haven't found my azimuth yet, though. We're going to be waiting on you at your LZ no later than 23 hours from now. From here, you need to head northeast. I'll copy. Roger, solid copy. Survivor out. In the last challenge, the contestants began with smart cards in their kit. One of those cards provided them with a starting azimuth to get them headed toward the endpoint. But because this year we are simulating that the survivor has stolen a kit from one of the Op 4 soldiers, that would not be realistic. Playing the role of his rescue team, I make a call to Brent on the radio that he stole from the bad guys, and I put him on his starting course. I gotta, I gotta get this goddamn flexi cuff off my wrist. I'm gonna buy him a face paint, and then uh, I can start heading northeast. So, uh, let's take care of. up 50 feet from me just laying I'd never see him little gully over. So we're gonna get up in here on top here and sit for a bit. Alright guys, I've gained a little bit more distance on him so I'm pretty comfortable now to kind of go through my gear, see what see what Randall blessed me with and what he fucked me on. So let's dig through this and see what we got. Alright obviously got a compass already. Already utilized. Looks like we've got a ferro rod and start fires. Nice. Nothing in the top pouch. Emergency blanket. Got some medical tape. Got a rape whistle. in this canteen pouch. All right, the butt pack. Looks like we got a sterile compress. I'll probably end up using this as shit paper. Looks like it gave us gay bar. Canteen. 
got my canteen cup and heater. So that's good. It's my comms. Nothing else in there. cool gear he brought out and doesn't even get to use 90% of it makes Brent a sad marine Hunter this is scout stand by for enemy intel update because Stoker is using the same tracking system as us he knows exactly where the survivor is so the way the intel updates work is every hour if the hunter wants it Stoker will give him the survivor's last known location, his direction from the hunter, and his last known activity. And we keep it fair by making sure that the intel updates are not 100% accurate. By keeping the hunter within two to 300 meters of the survivor at all times, that ensures that there is a lot of pressure on him for the entire event. Make one tiny mistake in sound or light discipline, and you will be caught. That concludes the report. Have copy. Check on his water. Change the batteries. Make sure he's good to go. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, it's terrible. I got hung up on all this. That's all up here. Yeah. There's no not making noise. Yeah. I'm trying to save my perks for later on. Okay. Whenever yeah. I need them. You know, I kind of have a game plan. You know, I'm trying to. You go east. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to parallel them. Yeah. It's tough climb, huh, Pup? I'm guessing right. He's back over this way behind me somewhere. Ish. Ish, yeah. I'm gonna give you some of my base layers. Okay, yeah, whatever you need uh, to drop off. Yeah, I'm gonna. Your core temp is shooting up. Yeah. Oh, that first hike up that, I got sweaty real yeah. quick. So when you uh, departed, what were you thinking when you left the tent as far as the direction you wanted to travel? Like, what was your first instinct? 
I was trying to go go the direction you, you told me. And it's a 50-50 crapshoot once he gets up there, mm -hmm. whether he goes left or right. Right. I would think he would do some kind of a turn at some point. Either either um, on purpose or inadvertently, mm -hmm. just due to the terrain right. and, and uh, that thing. And um, just the way you have to navigate these hills. Mm -hmm. they're, they're rough. I'm gonna take my base layer on my pants yeah. off here too. We don't need to see his junk, do we? But um Alright. So yeah, I think we're good to go. Sounds good. Well, I'm gonna bug out. Sounds good, man. Appreciate good it. Good luck. Thanks. So I'm gonna head off in into the manzanitas. Right on. are thick as fuck guys look at this i'm essentially having to crawl my hands and knees through this and my avenues of approach are pretty slim i'm pretty much just having to find these little tiny trails that are just big enough for me to crawl through and slowly make my way down Survivor is on course north northeast, and Hunter's sitting right up there above him, waiting. Survivor's making good progress. He's got to get all the way up here, top right corner of the screen. Going pretty well. Holy shit, guys, look at that view. Looks like I might have stumbled upon a trail too. Go ahead. Everything good? Yeah, except I just realized you took all my warming layers, you bastard. And there's no shit paper. All right, you're uh, sit rep. You're on on course to uh, reach the LZ. Uh, you, when you move again, you might want to head more northeast. Totally be on course. Roger. Anything, see anything. 
So. I'm going to work down that way, but then I'm going to cut out. I'm going to keep cutting to the right. Almost like a zigzag. You know, trying to follow the terrain. These old dead pines. See when I stand up, I'll see what it looks like up that way. Maybe I can cut over and then down. Man, it is just so thick here. The ground is just covered with these. Just absolutely covered. So it's just like what happened last time when you have an expert out there. And in this case, we have two experts. Kind of slow going. Uh, Brent is making excellent progress. Very good tactics. And Jared as the hunter is doing an outstanding job, especially with the intel he is given. Sometimes it's even a little boring, but just for us, it's definitely not boring for them. See this terrain, I'm creeping up and down. All right guys, so I'm trying to make my way northeast. So essentially straight up over this hill. Originally I was gonna try to make it for a saddle, but if you guys look, I'm just, inundated with manzanita and I don't know if I can get through that quietly <clears throat> so I think I'm actually gonna do a beeline and go straight northeast up this hill <sighs> right through there I haven't heard any talking I haven't heard any radio chatter uh, from the enemy so so far so good and uh I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way that direction unless I start hearing the enemy moving on me. So let's go. Hey Hunter, just uh, checking in, see how you doing, Roger. Looking to see if uh, you wanted to maybe get a drone up in the sky or use one of your other perks. Over. What is your location right now? I'm about. Uh, 400 meters to your southwest over but all assets are available as needed regardless of where i'm at i got you covered can you have a scout or a rover go to the road directly to the north of me yeah roger i can send a scout up that way he's getting ready to do a, a drive through anyways and see how things are shaking Roger, solid copy. show you the kind of stuff I'm dealing with right now. I've spent more time crawling on my hands and knees and on my belly than I've liked. Uh, but if you guys can see, this is what ends up happening. You get in this big patch of manzanitas and uh, you gotta look for an opening. Like that's my opening right there, that little tiny crevice. So literally the only way through this stuff 
is just crawling on through. And uh, sometimes you can power on through it, but a lot of it, it's so thick, it's just impassable. So I just gotta crawl one stride at a time <laughs> through it. All right, I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes. Haven't heard anything. All right, I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna push on here. I'm gonna go down, down this little draw. I'm kind of heading at a, between a 40 and 50 degree heading. With less than 19 hours until extraction, Brent only has just over a mile left to cover. Under these circumstances, however, it could take all night to cover that distance. 